hello beautiful people hope you are all doing well welcome back to my channel if you are new here welcome karibu sana if you are an og thank you for staying and thank you for subscribing so for and thank you for subscribing my name is shiro james if you are new you don't know me but i know you can read my name already on the screen so i do lifestyle video um videos about motherhood cooking basically most of those most is what i've been doing lately i also do a little bit of app and about and also uh, um traveling of late i haven't traveled so much you know with a new baby it's not easy to travel anyway so as you as you have read from the title of this video today we are going to talk about the struggles of motherhood yes today i'm going to talk something i'm so passionate about motherhood so yes to start it off yes i became a mother not recently because my son is like one and a half almost one and a half years old yeah is it this one and a half years old. yeah one year six months he's hitting six months in october 19th that's when he'll be one year six months so yeah so i can basically say i'm a new mom because he's my first i don't have another baby so these are the struggles i had when i became a new mom uh the first things were uh breastfeeding when actually after giving birth the first 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 struggle i had was breastfeeding it looks easy yeah breastfeeding looks like you just hold the baby put him on your breast give him some breast and he starts taking the milk no guys it's not like that it's difficult it's difficult okay for me I, it was difficult breastfeeding especially because i have very small nipples so he couldn't latch on properly he couldn't get his nipple into the mouth so i had to take a I was taught this thing in the hospital they gave me a syringe you see that side then you put the dawa with it that side of the syringe so i would put it there and pull my nipple it's painful not so much but it was painful i pull my nipple using it's like you are sucking your nipple so that it gets the an edge so i suck it and then the baby will be able to latch properly the first day i brought my baby from the in the hospital it was okay because he was given like milk but i wanted to but, but they would give him like a tiny bit of the milk and i stayed in the hospital for like uh, one day it's one day two days actually two days i gave back like today it was on a friday i stayed on a saturday i went home on a sunday so on saturday he slept really well when in the hospital he slept quite well the other babies were crying but he slept quite well so when we went home that first night uh we, he took a bath we bathed him he was so clean i thought he would sleep but man my baby didn't sleep and then he started to get some fevers i was as worried as i don't know i was my god i was so worried i was like asking god what is this okay i had my mom but she had left and then i had my friends and my sister around with me but now my my mommy my mommy had left and went back huh, to her house so i'm here with a new baby i don't know what's happening the baby is having a fever i'm shocked i'm still healing because i have stitches so it's, it's such a challenge so my baby is like getting a very high fever i had a thermometer already in the house so i take his temperature and he was at a, a 38 yes i think 38 well here i am worried i'm like god is it because we bathed him what happened i was like crying i was hysterical so i told my friends let's rush to the hospital she carried the baby dashed out of the house and rushed to the hospital it was just a nearby clinic we didn't want to go far because we don't we didn't know what was happening 
Kumbe, my baby, when we go to the hospital, my friend go to the hospital way before I could because you know I couldn't walk fast with the stitches down there. So my friend rushed to the hospital. I'm told a pim one in in the nothing. Kumbe, the baby was dehydrated. I didn't have because he didn't breastfeed. I didn't have any milk, so he was dehydrated. So what I was told, they gave him something. I don't know whether it was glucose or whatever i don't know what they gave me and they told me to try as much as possible to breastfeed breastfeed him as often as i can so that he can latch on properly and then milk will come if because if i don't breastfeed him the milk supply will cut short so to kind of let and he was okay that was my first struggle guys that was the first first struggle i got when became a new mom it was my worst fear ever since i got my son because i the time he got that temporary i was god i was like god why did you let us come to, from the hospital to come home for my son to die in the house that was my thought like not just me guys but that's what i thought i was thought i thought like god you let my mom leave i'm here alone i'm not in the hospital and then i'm here with this baby i even don't know how to handle him and then you want him to just go. That's what was running in my mind. I don't know. Any, that's what happens sometimes when you... Yeah, okay. Basically, I'm rambling here. So, the next thing I struggled with was sleep deprivation. Guys, when young moms or first-time tell, moms tell you they get sleep deprivation, it's true. My son is not a deep sleeper. They tell you, Ati, when your baby sleeps, take a nap. That's a lie. That's a lie. I won't tell you it works. It works for some, but for me, it didn't work. Because my son, when he would sleep like for 30 minutes or even an hour, if he sleeps a lot or even maybe two hours, two hours the most. And that time, Nikatini, the one few days old, so I, the 30 minutes he sleep is the time that I take to go, uh, maybe freshen up, if or to just do some tiny, tiny little thing, maybe have my meals, such stuff. But the baby won't sleep. I was sleep deprived for the first three months. It was difficult. You'll hold the baby like this and you're like, you're like sleeping because when he sleep and he wouldn't let uh, i don't i never taught him to be held but he would sleep on my hands for the first three months if you put him on the bed he would wake up so i used to have him here akilala kabisa that's when i put him on the bed but for a few until he sleeps for a few minutes then you place him there he won't he just wake up yeah so that was another struggle sleep deprivation Another thing that I struggled with was feeling kind of lonely. Yeah, I was, yes, I had my son, and but I still felt lonely. You know, with the, uh, the um, okay, in the space we are right now, or currently, we are on social media. Sometimes you go online and you see your friends having a blast. You would see them, they had a party like last night, some went to visit places and i would feel bad i would feel lonely and wondered why did i decide to do this why did i become a mother i'm missing a lot yet i couldn't see the blessing that i had like it it felt lonely because you were with this baby 24 hours they need your attention for 24 hours it was a struggle guys it was a struggle but with time I learned how to overcome that. I stopped getting on social media and I stopped getting that get into me. Like, even though I used to see my friends out or going places, I was like, it's their time. There's, there's a time it will come. I will be the one in that place going out and having fun. And then maybe they'll be having babies. It's like this life is a cycle. Today it's you, tomorrow it's me. So I, I learned how to cope with that and I learned how to accept myself and to accept that, yes, I can't go out often, 
I have this baby to take care and it's only for a few months. Let's know my son is one year old and above. I can go anywhere I want. I can go out, but I don't go far. Oh, there's a mosquito here. Okay, uh, my son, I can go, but I can't sleep out because if I don't have him with me because he's still breastfeeding, I will plan to breastfeed him until he's two years. I hope I can do it because right now it's a, not a struggle. Like right now we fight. He's always on my boob pulling my clothes like this. He wants to breastfeed. Uh, yeah. I don't know if I can manage for the two years because I'm, I'm feeling like he's harassing me now. He's kind of harassing me. If I get to sit down like this, he can't wait. He's always coming to pull my clothes. He wants to breastfeed. And when I'm around him, he can't eat. So sometimes I have to hide so that he can eat and then come and breastfeed because I don't have enough milk to sustain him. Uh, yeah. Uh, that was number two. Another thing, yeah, number three was, number one was breastfeeding, number two was sleep deprivation, number three was lonely. I felt lonely. Then, after that, after the baby start becoming bigger and they start smiling and you are and now enjoying it, you are embracing them, you are feeling like this is the best thing ever that have happened to me, you are like, wow, I'm making it. The guilt starts coming in. The guilt is, are you doing enough for your son are you doing enough for your kid you just feel like no i'm not doing enough i'm not a good mom if you let them cry a little bit i'm not a good mom if you let them or you do something that goes against them you are feeling like you are not a good mom are you ready to to be the best mom for them like Maybe you are going out, you are going to buy yourself something, like I, ha I, I still struggle with this. I plan, I'm going to buy myself like say some clothes, then or shoes, then when I get to the shop or whatever I'm going to buy the shoes, I find myself buying for him. I feel guilty, like I'm going to buy for myself and not buy for him. Yet he has so many clothes, more than I do, more than even they need. Yet every time I go out, I find myself buying for them. That I don't know how to. I hope I can overcome that. And still, not like I don't like myself or I don't love myself. I love myself. This must be to find a double. <coughs> oh, okay. Not that I don't love myself. I love myself and I love my son at the same time. I have to balance. I have to learn how to balance that. Like... I don't have only to focus on him. I love him so much and I want the best for him, but I still want also the best for me. I don't want like my son is going looking so cute and here the mother is looking mother oh, Wadanio, yeah? You know, I don't want that. I want us to be on the same level. Like probably sometimes what I do, I buy for him a shoe. Next time I buy myself something or I go get him something a toy or something and i have learned also to not give him everything he wants now at la uh, right now he's at the stage whereby he can cry for stuff like the other day we were just walking across the road and then he saw the toy cars and my god he cried he wanted he loves toys and he cried and he has so many like i had bought another one like today no, like yesterday, then like today he still want another can. And he has others at home. No, I had to say no. There's a time I had to say no. Because, no, he can't get everything he wants. In this life, you don't get everything that you want. Sometimes you have to work hard to get what you want. He has to learn like you don't get everything you want. He has to just play for the time being with what he has. But I'll get him, but not at that particular moment. I'll get him other cars but at that time the money i had was for other things uh the other thing that i struggle with that is number five i'll do only five it's a uh, body insecurities right now i'm able to love myself right now i'm able even to take pictures but when i give birth uh the first few let's say even the first one year it was a struggle because your body isn't the same because when I was pregnant, I was thick. I had, uh, what do you call it? 
nilikuwa nime nimefura like don't know i think i think they say you retain a lot of water so your body is big my nose was wide my lips were big my foot was swollen yes that is the word i was looking for swollen your body is a bit swollen so my body was not the same i was struggling like to accept myself the tummy it's not gone yet but i feel happy i love myself i enjoy myself much more better i can take pictures i never used to take because pictures because i thought i was looking terrible i didn't accept the way i was looking at that time but right now i'm happy where i am like my face was terrible right now it's getting back together uh, it was bad for almost one year i struggled but what you do is you, you learn how to accept yourself and then some, somehow the people around me nasi kunichocha someone like saying ah you're looking me especially when i went back to to, to work everyone was like ah and the, you having a baby is making you even to look even more better you are looking more feminine your calves are nice like you feel a little better you are not accepting yourself but if you get compliment from other people they make you to uh, accept yourself and see the good in you and see the changes in your body slowly by slowly i'm not like a work out holic i don't like go working out i don't diet i'm going with the pace of my body i can't lie to you guys that i'll work and that i'll get that body in an instance no i'm taking my time loving myself and loving my son because he's the best blessing ever in my life i love that boy with all my heart i'll cross the oceans for him he's my everything wow i miss him again wow i didn't want this video to get so long and it's already 17 minutes that's why i'm talking a little bit faster because i wanted it to be shorter i wanted it to be like about 15 minutes and it's already 17 minutes but you get it guys those were my struggles as a first time mom what are your struggles for the moms in my subscription list or for you who is watching my videos kindly comment below what you went through as a first time mom or even because every child is different not even a first time mom because even those moms who have other kids they go through other struggles they may not be the same as when you are first mom but you go through struggles of after giving birth and life after birth and life after kids yeah you know what i'm saying so comment down below let's engage tell me what your struggles be those who are not yet blessed with a baby may god remember you if you're praying for one and those who are single and still waiting to get married someday maybe you look back on this video and learn something one or two so thank you guys for watching thank you for subscribing to my channel thank you for always coming back now to sana and to the next one Bye-bye.